Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, salutations, all you peoples out there. We're back, all the mods, eight hardcore guys. I've been playing lots of Zelda. Uh, yeah, Tears of Kingdom just came out, and I've been playing lots of it. So we need to get this video going so I can get back to playing, and that means today we are going to be playing with some Ars Naval. Uh, I believe that's how you say it. I it could be wrong, but uh, yeah, let's for one. I can barely hear. That means you guys can barely hear. Okay, yes, I can also turn that down in post editing, so don't worry. Uh, it won't be too loud again like it has been in the past. So cool, we have our worn notebook, which is the beginning to Ars Naval. Getting started. Let's get this party parted. We're not really going to follow that. We're going to follow this. Okay, so to get started, you'll need to craft yourself as a novice spell book. Okay. Oh, all right. Wait, okay, so the cool thing is about this is i can hit a here and if you look yeah there it popped up over there i was thinking about doing some auto crafting today but we'll get into that later and shebang now we have ourselves a spell book oh look at that bottom left we have things yes okay so now that we've done that we can go ahead and click here and get the potion of mana all right so now we got to go to the mage's spell book how do we create that oh that seems pretty simple Let's go ahead and craft it. We got all of the things. All right, mages spell book. I'm I don't really know what I'm doing here, but that's okay. And then the art mages. Oh, wait a second. A wilden tribute. Hmm. Tamed by defeating wild and chimera. See ritual of to, of summon wilden. Hmm. That's the only thing that we need. Okay. So we do have the mages spell book, which is good. Um. <clears throat> Creating your first spell. While holding your spell book, you can press C and open it up. I just zoomed. I didn't do anything like that. Okay, I've set mine to comma right next to enter, and this is what we got. So we have projectile, self, and touch effect. Break or harm. So projectile here, create. Oh, we lost that block forever. Okay, um, I need some bricks. We'll just grab this brick because it's technically a brick and that's okay. Cool, so that looks weird now. But yes, now we can break blocks from far away. I believe we can go like this. Yes, now we are using shaders and not every single uh, thing is converted over. Let me break that. Nope, that's going on forever. Um, but yeah, so there's like a, a little ball going that we just can't see because of shaders right now, which is cool. So we went ahead and created our first spell, which is awesome. Um, got some experience, cool. Mana, mage power, the bottom left of your screen, you'll see the bar, this bar is your mana pool. Uh, there are several ways to increase your mana pool or increase your efficiency of the spells as you progress through the mod. Upgrading your spell book can also increase your mana. Okay, so we do have a potion of mana regen, so we can drink that. And now we're regenerating crazy mana. So, let's see, if we shoot that off, oh yeah, look at that. You can see the mana bar goes down and then comes back up. Very cool, okay. Now, does it change if we say, break a block? No, so it's the exact same if we break a block or not, cool. Um, yeah, I've seen a lot of people use the that break thing in their Let's Plays and it's really nice. So, hmm. Maybe we need to see about summoning the Chimera. Um, familiars, rituals, mod news. That is from ours. <clears throat> Okay, so we're on the Ars Naval wiki here, and the warp portal is what we're after for our mob farm. This is why we're getting into Ars Naval. Now, so it says, warp portals like warp scrolls provide a one-way teleport to any location provided it is the same dimension. To construct a warp portal, build a frame from source stone or its variants in the shape of a rectangle and provide a full source jar nearby. Then throw a warp scroll with a written location into the frame. 
Given there is enough source nearby, the portal will be created. Portals can be built horizontal or vertical from one by one to 21 by 21 in size. Warping does not cost any source after creation. Using a Dominion wand on a portal will change the texture of the portal. So this is what we are after. Um, and so essentially we need to find a way to create uh, automated or just enough source to get the, the portal started. And then we're going to actually use the um, compact machines because they're technically in the same dimension to teleport from one to another so it's going to be a little crazy um but yeah so we need to go ahead and get it started here um let's see the warp scroll we need one of these guys okay so i do need to make a couple of these source gems here which means we need an imbutant chamber and i'm not sure if we're generating source yet um archwood planks i should have archwood planks there we go there's there's that cool so we got that imbutant chamber we already got that perfect um to create one of the main crafting items in source gen we'll need to make imbutant chamber the imbutant chamber requires source to imbuse items produces a small amount of source it produces a small amount of source by itself but can also use source jars as a power source Several recipes can also require arcane pedestals to be placed around it as well. Okay, so we have this. Um, I guess we'll just put him here. That looks pretty cool. Now, I don't, I've never you really used this mod before. Okay, add source nearby to increase craft speed. Oh, look at that crafting process. It's given us a time frame. Cool. So we're already on our way to creating and item source gems these guys um oh we're gonna get some source gems after we create two of those very cool source jar and then it yeah so i think these are going generate source from mob deaths and animal breeding yeah that's that's gonna be a good one we can put that probably in our farm over there and let the the stuffs go to work i believe I can do that. Yep, I sure can. So that's pretty neat. Again, the time in a bottle is one of the most overpowered items in the entire game. Okay, so we've got quite a few of these guys now which is amazing um so it should mean yep we got those we got an additional couple of them now we need to make a source jar so we're gonna hit this here and what do we need to make that okay we need some slabby jabbies and it looks like we need some glass all right now is it any glass or is it nope any glass cool so now we have the source jar so we can put this here zero percent full we're on on topic but we get another one cool so maybe we'll throw that there for now okay um called source to start collecting some source we'll need a source jar source can be moved source can be moved with buckets or by breaking and picking up source jars okay that seems pretty simple is there one nearby food using the growth of plants can generate source by consuming burnable items Archwood's log will generate bonus source. Okay, so this is the guy I want to make now. Um, we should be able to craft this up. They need a bucket of lava. Okay, so burnable items. We we have access to a pretty significant amount of burnable items. Um, but it says, oh, was it Archwood's planks give a bonus source? Did I have to shift click? I throw it at it okay how are we making this how are we using that okay source okay that's from crops we don't want that one can I just hit backspace I can okay, that's from food our chemical source will generate source by consuming potions Source jar, a source relay. This might be what we need. Enables the transport of source between source jars and other source relays. Full source from jars. Okay, but what about this guy? Um, 
mob death volcanic here we go the mom the violet source generates source by consuming burnable items are to with area plus mana with this least touch which generates most it also produces heat used to spawning lava lilies and converting stone into lava the volcanic ground automates outputs to nearby jars starting with one of the closest to it nearby blazing ritual item will be burned up in exchange for a chunk of mana heat so we'll also take a well, okay, so we'll take items from surrounding pedestals. Okay, so we need pedestals. Maybe this guy? Yeah. Okay, so source. So we should be able to generate some source stone now for this. Eight. Perfect. All right, and that gives us one of these pedestals. So if we put this here and maybe this here, it did, it used it. And we got source here, cool beans, okay. So what if we take, what are some crazy items that we can make? Rainbow, rainbow coal. Like I don't think you can actually make that. I want to see, does it use the Supremium Coal Block? Oh, it does. It does. Are there like glasses for ours and Val? To, because like that was a lot of coal that it just used. It says 0%. That is 30% full. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely working. 40. That might have been too much. Because yeah, those... Those Supremium blocks burn for a while. Yeah, smelts 1,728 items. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's going to give us a lot of source, I believe. 70%. Okay. So we are generating source. I don't know. Like, do we have enough now to create the portal? Um, maybe we make a compact machine. Can't spell compact. Okay. So we're going to make a big boy here. All right, and then we need this surrounded with stone because it was source stone, right? And throw a warp scroll with a written location into the frame. Okay. So we're gonna, yeah, we'll get a stack. We'll get a little bit more. Maybe, well, yeah, that's a little bit more than I originally planned. But we need to make a killing one, like a chamber two. So uh, we're going to place these here for now. We're going to make a warp scroll. Uh, nope, I didn't do that. Okay, warp scroll. Nope, we need one of these. Oh, we need one of these. Grown from seeds crafted using the enchanting apparatus. Hmm. Okay, so seeds chanting so I think we need some more pedestals too unfortunately mm. you there die okay so I moved the source jar over here we have four of the pedestals so I believe we throw seeds into here and arcane core must be placed beneath this block. Okay, arcane core. There's a lot of things to do. Okay, arcane core. Yep, we can make one of these. Okay, so we put this guy here. Wow, that puts off some light. And then the enchanting apparatus. Okay, so we have source, we have the pedestals. This maybe? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. Holy cow, that is awesome. What a impressive mod. Yeah, we're going with the botany pot. Okay, so uses here, botany pot. We have two options, so that's the drawer 
going to make. And for lack of a better place, better place, put this here. I command you to grow. Okay, we do have some uberous soil. I don't know if it gets a boost. Oh yeah, it gets a boost. It gets a boost. Look at that go. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit more of that. I'm gonna take a full stack of these mage blooms here. Um, do I, I keep forgetting to hit A on one of these guys. Good. All right, so this guy, 0% full. What if I just put him here and we get another one of these Supremium Coal Blocks and I place it like this. There we go. That's filling up. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. So warp scroll. We need one of these guys. Means we need one of these. Good. We got a stack of those. Means we can make this. Good. And then a warp scroll. Okay. So I need my Game Boy. There it is. And we're going to go into here. Okay, so we do we do have a center. Um, I think we'll just put. Um, I kind of want them to be here and then fall into a chamber where they die. So click. You recorded your location to the warp scroll. Okay. So we have to stay, like we can't use that from outside at all. So now we're gonna go into the bigger one. And this is still in the same dimension. If I go to the other one, I can hit a button and it will show us where. Uh, did we bring enough block? I think we brought enough blocks. Okay, so now, oh, we need to get out of here real quick. We need to grab this guy. That's 100% full. We need to go back into here. And we'll put them here. Go like this. And then I guess we just throw in the warp scroll. Wow, that used a lot. Oh, no. I accidentally broke th the source stone. No! Oh, that was so lame. <laughs> Stupid pickaxe being too good. No! That was terrible. I'm actually really pissed about that. Ah, okay. Okay, now this is full. Dang, that is a freaking bummer, dude. I gotta make another warp scroll. Good thing they're not very expensive, but I gotta be really careful about breaking that. Okay, so we gotta do the whole process again. All right, let's try this one more time. So we have, I've already linked up the warp scroll. We have 100% essence here. All we gotta do is just throw this in. That's been used. And so now, okay, if we check the map, yeah, this is where our mobs are coming from and they're being teleported over to here. So I should be able to jump in. Yes. <laughs> That's really all we needed ours Naval for. Uh, we might dive into this a little bit more in the future. Oh no, I just shift clicked all of those on accident. That was our items. I don't even know what I had. Um, Whoops. Okay, I definitely need the magnet. Give me a second. Okay, so this is pretty cool. It gives us a, uh, a preview of it, and that's what it looks like. So now all we need to do is transfer this into here. 
And then we're actually gonna build this here first. Um, wow. Vector plates. That's what we need first. Okay, so we... Mm, I feel like we should have put this in the corner more. Or... Mm, I feel like we should make this a big room. I just don't want them. Okay, so the biggest mobs we have are the slimes. And they need at least two blocks. Yeah, we're gonna need to make a bigger compact machine. I need to do that process one more time. Ah, that's a bummer. We need to do it with one of these guys. All right, another warp scroll. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get that crafted up. Okay, so I'm trying to think a little bit more on this one. And I believe we can get him in on this block. So it means we need to have a wall here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's the, the block they're going to come in on. I want to see, do we teleport outside? Yeah, okay, so this should be okay. Uh, we're gonna have mob grinders here, here, and here. Um, like so. And so we can take the vector plates and we want them to get pushed into these guys from every side like so and then we can just set these up to do this okay all right and so now we're going to set the warp scroll here um yep okay and then we go into our, out of our Game Boy. And we go here. I think it just teleported me. Huh, okay. This might be a problem. Huh. I didn't think this through. It's gonna teleport us back here every time. What if I'm flying and go in? Yep. Okay, we're gonna need to get... <laughs> We can't use that one anymore. Jeez. Gotta make another one. It's a good thing we have so much netherite. Okay. We're gonna need to make some more of the source block. Okay, that'll be fine. More, perfect. All right, so now we got new new locations for both of them. Um, we know how they work. I'm gonna get the, f well. Hmm. What if instead we built it here so we would spawn below it? Then to access it, we need to break this every time. Okay, we need to think, I need to think better. Um, so we're gonna build this here. And I think we're gonna give ourselves a, like an access side. So I can build it like this. Yeah, this is gonna be way better than our last idea. Because now we'll spawn in, we won't get teleported right away. That's still good to go. Okay, so we're gonna test it out. So personal shrinking device, we're out of here. And then if we click this, we should not be teleported. Yes, we go below the portal, perfect. And then we come up here, nice. Okay, so that's gonna work. We're just gonna put like a wall here or something so that they can't spawn through. And if we jump, we're gonna get teleported. 
like that and we'll die. So we can't do that. Okay. So we can break these guys now. Very good. All right. And now all we have to do is just move the spawners over, I believe. Well, we got to move a couple, a couple things over. We're going to grab. Oh, I didn't. I need to change something. And those are gone. Those are gone. Well, farewell to those. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh man. Okay. So what I what I'm talking about is we um actually not this one. Here, we need to lift all of these up by one block because we need to put redstone underneath the uh, crushers. So there needs to be redstone there. Okay. So now we get to make more mob grinders, which is okay. I'll make those. Okay, so we're back in the kill chamber here, uh, and I did go ahead and bring over all of the storage drawers that we're gonna be needing um, for our items. And we are gonna have to get a little creative here with um connecting these up to our me network uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put this here just so we have a lot of just kind of some space for it um, so here Boom. so these are all linked to this guy they're all still locked perfect um so we just need where do we want these guys um, I think here's a good show area so we want this to move north oh by a lot no nope, we want it to move south okay So this shouldn't pick up this item. Yeah, cool. So we're just gonna put both of these like that. Okay, so hide the area and we'll show the area. Yeah, that's gonna work great. So any item other, like I guess we could just put a wall there so no items can possibly be accidentally thrown away if we break anything out here, which is a, a really nice improvement compared to what we had prior. So we're just going to run these. Oh, I need more. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So those are going to get put into here. Um... Actually, I think I'm gonna do this and then we'll go like that and I'll take my pipe wrench. In theory, this will be cool. Did I grab the trash can? I don't think I did. We'll put the trash can right here so everything looks kind of good so any items that go here will be put here and they will be tried to put into this system before they get tried to put into the trash can is the idea so now those are good to go so if i take this here and i throw it yeah that went that went into here one of those guys grabbed it very good so east
Huh. Actually. Should be oh, it's south. Okay, so south for both of those, and then north will be for fluid. And we will take these and put them into here. And then we'll take the ender tank. Nope. Oh, where'd that go? Should be in here. Yep. Nope. And we'll do that. So that's going to get experience. And then we'll put, obviously these need to have the upgrades. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that final one to a netherite, this upgrade here. Okay, so that's all been set up. So once this ender tank gets filled up, um, it will fill into the experience crystal. I want that to be like that. Yeah. So that's good. So this is the priority, and then anything left over gets put into here. I was about to say, I was like, did we just lose 1,600 levels? I was about to be really sad. Look at that. Level 70. And it's not even one level. 70 levels for one level now. That's so that's so much experience. It's not even funny. Oh man. Okay. So yeah, I think everything here is pretty much ready to go. Um put these in. And then now those guys are on. And now these things are super deadly. Uh, I did try to upgrade the vector plates once before but the problem was they were they were throwing the mobs around and they weren't dying very quickly at all so yeah i want to get some ethereal glass and let's get some sky stone <clears throat> okay and so i'm gonna do because we can't see below, we're just gonna kinda do one of these. You know what I mean? We can't see, I'm sorry, below what I mean. It's under the vector plates, so there's no reason to change out what's under there. But we're gonna bring this all the way to the top. I could be using a builder wand, but who cares? It'd be a lot faster. There we go, okay. And then we're gonna fill all this in. Well, should we do the ethereal glass? Cause I don't wanna accidentally go in there. I don't think that's a good idea. Let's just get normal glass. <laughs> Flying into there has really no benefit at this point. Um, yeah, I'll take some sand and we'll smelt it up. And what can we do with this said glass? What cool glass options do we have? Let's look it up. Clear glass, okay. So you just put it into a two by two and it gives you clear glass. I like it. Okay, we'll use, we will use the clear glass. And do I have my wand? My builder's wand? I do. All right. And I believe that if I do this, yep, it builds up both sides. All right, so now there's no chance of jumping in there. Very good, and this is connecting glass. Oh, I had to do it again. Well, I do have an exchange tool. So why don't we do that? I'll put a block down. Aha. And then what? It's right. Set it to 15. There we go. And there we go. So now we have clear 
clear glass. Yep, and they'll be teleporting in. All right, so all we gotta do is grab the trash can and the killing chamber is ready. We'll work on connecting it to our ME system later. All right, trash can. All right, so these are all ready to go. I like, I kind of like the way this looks. Very accessible. We can see everything, and then we can put our three by three little flux thing over here. Yes, or up above, whatever works. It doesn't need to be super pretty, but we made it kind of pretty. But this is good. This is very good. Okay, get the Game Boy out. And the next thing is to move all the spawners. Um, so we need some cardboard boxes. Um... Okay, so we definitely have more than enough cardboard boxes now. Uh, I don't think we have more than 16 spawners in here, but we're gonna go click, 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 click. And then we're also gonna need to chunk load as well. So I wanna test, just, yeah, we're gonna pick it up, good. Good, so I should be able to do this, yep. And let me go empty my inventory so we can place these guys. Okay, so now we're gonna grab, grab all of these guys. We should be able to do them all in one go. There's nothing below, so we're gonna get all the spawners back. Yep, there they are. All right, now we need our Game Boy. And we're going to go into this guy. Good, 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 good. Okay. So. Okay, I think that's going to be where I want the bottom. Uh, we're going to need to also fill these in. I just thought about this. Let's get some ethereal glass on one side. And then. We can fill the other sides with blocks. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking here. So we have ethereal glass here, so I can still get in and access, and then we have cut calcite bricks all around. We have one, two, three, four, uh, and then one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna have the, the spawners be like so. Uh, I'm gonna extend this out by one, and then one, two, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe we can do that. This isn't gonna well, we'll see. They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Hmm. I think we're gonna have to put a couple of these on top of each other. Okay, so yeah, I think it just needs to be two rows here essentially. Then we have one more little place here. So, okay, so yeah, we should be good here. Um, we need some levers. I'm gonna make sure I'm, I'm flying so when we hit back, we don't fall. Yep, good. All right, so this one does these, boom, 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 boom. Okay, we're gonna chunk load this one. 
Let's head on out and head on over to the other one. I hear him. I'm collecting items. Oh, no. Okay. So that's working pretty good. Okay, but why? They're still not coming through. I did chunk load this, didn't I? Nor's players. Frickin' slimes. Hmm. They don't load in. Need to do some thinking okay i think i figured it out here so use i know this may seem crazy but the flux point has a chunk loading option um like well nope i i guess it doesn't okay I'm not sure what we're going to do about this. Let me know down in the comments section what you guys think. But we kind of set up a good mob farm. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye. <laughs>